here with Gavin Tucker. You're back in this building. Last time you were in this building, it wasn't very pleasant. How do you feel now that you're here again? Yeah, uh, a different person now. Uh, different. I feel like that person is long gone and dead, you know? It's not, uh, it's not even a trace of that memory really left. Bad nights, but I'm a dog, man. That's what happens to dogs sometimes. Uh, I'm happy it's here because it's kind of rectification. So I guess you got to look in this guy's eyes. I'm, I'm feeling this. This time is, uh, it's like a whole different city. It's like a whole different feel. What's the difference between Gavin Tucker and Gavin Tucker 2.0, the one I see right now? Yeah, I've spent the last two years training around the world from Amsterdam, New York, Montreal, everything. I have, uh, I have the MMA protocol in place. I'm not coming out trick over trade. My crew is right, you know, my mind is strong, so I'm ready, I'm ready to rock. What was the delay from the last time you fought to now? It's been almost two years. Injuries, uh, a string of them. There's been a harsh, there's been a harsh string of injuries, but I'm pretty sure I have all that bad luck out of the way right now, and uh, and we're back in it. So I plan on making up for some lost time this year. You know, two years ago you were compared to Dominic Cruz. You were considered one of the top prospects in the featherweight division. You look at the the betting line for this fight; it's about even. Are people forgetting about how good Gavin Tucker is? Yeah, they're for, they're probably forgetting, but I can understand why. People only remember you for your last fight, but uh, it's going to be a harsh, violent reminder tomorrow night. I, I, yeah, I can't wait to get that get that door closed. I had heard you were planning a foray into bantamweight. That didn't go so well. Uh, no, the susceptibility to injuries and things at that weight. I, I mean, I don't know it's possible. I still cut from 170 to make 45, and they're never easy. But, uh, you know, uh, you always want to kind of open up every option to yourself possible to give yourself the best chance of success. Uh, for me, it's a 45, but you have to go through some bumps and learning curves to know that with certainty. So now, now we're certain. Sung Wu Choi, your opponent, it's his debut. What can you tell me about him? It's not his debut. He's fought. Uh, I'm sorry, in the UFC. No, he's fought in the UFC once already in Russia. Yeah, he's fought. A, he's fought a tough wrestler. He didn't get to show his skills because it turned into a wrestling match. Good striker, good basics, and. Uh, you know, he, he's going to bring it. He, I, I see in his face, he's going to bring it. You guys are going to get your money's worth out of me tomorrow night. No matter what no matter what happens, you're always going to get your money's worth out of me. So. And finally, I've got to ask, you used to be uh, a jazz musician. Have, have you been playing at all uh, leading up to this uh, event? Have you been listening to any, any good jazz albums you can recommend? Uh, no, I don't really, don't really live in that world anymore. Definitely a lot out there and a lot I'm, I'm not exposed to these days because I'm not around the right crew, but I'm so far removed from anything like that. Focused on training, I get it. Thanks, Gavin. Appreciate this. Thank you, guys.